In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on December 8, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Los Angeles Clippers vs. Miami Heat This Thursday, the Los Angeles Clippers will travel to Miami to take on the Miami Heat. Tip-off will be inside the FTX Arena. Both of these teams have been impressive to begin this season, as they are two of the best defensive teams in the league. They will stay aggressive in this game, as I am expecting a battle in this one. The Los Angeles Clippers are entering this matchup after beating the Charlotte Hornets, 119-117. Leonard hit a game-winning shot in his first game back, as the Clippers are looking to get hot. They will have to show up on the offensive end of the court if they want to challenge the Heat on the road. The Miami Heat are coming into this one after falling to the Detroit Pistons, 116-96. Miami struggled on both ends of the floor in that game, and they will be looking to bounce back in this one. They have to be better on both ends of the court if they want to take down the Clippers at home. Looking at the betting trends, the Clippers are 2-6 against the spread in their last eight road games against a team with a winning home record and 2-5 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Heat are 3-12-1 against the spread in their last 16 home games, 4-11 against the spread in their last 15 games against a team with a winning record, and 8-17-1 against the spread in their last 26 games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the over is 6-0 in the last six meetings overall. The Clippers are 6-1 against the spread in the last seven meetings overall, and the Clippers are 5-0 against the spread in the last five meetings in Miami. The Clippers could be shorthanded again as Norman Powell, John Wall, Marcus Morris, and Luke Kennard are all listed on the injury report, while the Heat are keeping an eye on Dwayne Dedman. Gabe Vincent and Jimmy Butler who are all questionable. The Clippers look to have the win locked up multiple times last night, but they never put away the magic and got burned in overtime for one of their worst losses of the season. Meanwhile, the Heat have continued to struggle due to all the injuries and their confidence took another shot after getting blown out by the lowly Pistons on Tuesday. The Los Angeles Clippers are still trying to find their footing and they're on the end of a back-to-back -back with a game that included overtime. I can understand why the rested Heat are favored at home. However, we just saw the Heat lose to the Grizzlies backups and then lose to the Pistons at home. The Miami Heat aren't a good team right now, and they win at home by an average of just 0.1 points and in the favorite role by an average of 1 point. No, thank you. You couldn't back either team with much confidence these days, but the Heat are only 3-12 to to 1 against the spread in their last 16 home games. So the Los Angeles Clippers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Heat ranked 26th in pace of play entering this home tilt with the Clippers. Kyle Lowry has not been the same stalwart we used to see in Toronto, but he has gotten the job done admirably with so many guys out of the lineup. Miami has been struggling on the glass as well, ranking 23rd in rebounding percentage. A poor three-point shooting percentage and a lackluster effort on the glass will be tough to overcome against an excellent defensive club in the Clippers. George and the gang are top five in scoring defense and opponent field goal percentage. This game has all the makings of a low-scoring battle. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Houston Rockets vs. San Antonio Spurs This Thursday, the Houston Rockets will travel to San Antonio to take on the San Antonio Spurs. Neither of these teams has had the start to the season that they were hoping for, but they will be looking to turn it around in this game. The Houston Rockets are coming into this one after taking down the Philadelphia 76ers, 132-123. Houston looked awesome on the offensive end of the court as they continued to score throughout that game. They will have to stay hot in this one if they want to challenge the Spurs on the road. The San Antonio Spurs are entering this matchup after losing to the Phoenix Suns, 133-95. The Spurs were awful on both ends of the court, as they will have to get more stops in this game if they want to compete with the Rockets at home. Looking at the betting trends, the Rockets are 4-1 against the spread in their last five games against a team with a losing record and 1-5 against the spread in their last six games playing on two days rest. 
The Spurs are 0-5 against the spread in their last five home games, 0-6 against the spread in their last six games against a team with a losing record, and 1-10 against the spread in their last 11 games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the over is 4-0 in the last four meetings overall, and the Rockets are 3-7-1 against the spread in the last 11 meetings overall. The Rockets will likely be shorthanded again as Bruno Fernando, Josh Christopher, and Kevin Porter Jr. are all questionable, while the Spurs have ruled out Jakob Poltel, Keita Bates-Diop, and Jeremy Sachin. The Rockets are coming into this meeting as the team in better form and they would have taken so much confidence from their overtime win over the 76ers on Monday. The Spurs have been the coldest team in the league and they are only 0-5 against the spread in their last five home games and 1-10 against the spread in their last 11 games overall. It's rare to see the Houston Rockets in the favorite role, but it's just a sign of how bad the Spurs are. In fact, Fact, this will be the first time this season the Rockets are favored. The San Antonio Spurs haven't won a game since November 11, and they're losing their last five games by an average of 11 points. The Spurs lose at home by an average of 11 points, so the Houston Rockets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Rockets and Spurs are both in the upper half in regards to pace entering this matchup Thursday. Houston has been an excellent team on the boards, ranking second in rebounding percentage. San Antonio has been the opposite, ranking 27th. Houston will have a distinct advantage inside here, even with Jacob Poetl returning to the lineup. Second chance points leading to open three-pointers will be the recipe for Houston here. The Spurs have lost 11 in a row for a reason, and their problems on the defensive end are the primary reason. Houston is coming off a big win, and they will come out hot here. Denver Nuggets vs. Portland Trail Blazers Denver will be looking to snap a three-game losing streak when it travels to Portland on Thursday night. The Nuggets had rattled off four straight wins at the end of November, but they have gone winless in their first three games this month. Portland has won two consecutive games, including a 116-100 win over Indiana on Sunday. Looking at the betting trends, the Nuggets are 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games following a loss and 2-5 against the spread in their last 7 games against a team with a winning record. The Trail Blazers are 1-4 against the spread in their last 5 home games, 7-3 against the spread in their last 10 games against a team with a winning record, and 4-12 against the spread in their last 16 games playing on 3 or more days rest. Head-to-head, -head, the Nuggets are 5-2 against the spread in the last seven meetings overall. The Nuggets will be shorthanded again as Michael Porter Jr. is still out, while the Trail Blazers should have a few players returning from injury including Drew Eubanks, Keon Johnson, and Josh Hart. The Denver Nuggets are playing the better ball right now overall, but they've been shaky on the road, where they have issues defensively and lose by an average of four points. The Portland Trail Blazers do their best work at home and in the favorite role, where they win by an average of five points and shoot 48.3% from the field. The Nuggets have opened as road favorites in this spot, but they have been a little below their best lately, especially Murray who stunk it up in Tuesday's loss to the Mavericks. The Trail Blazers have looked great since Lillard's return to the starting lineup and they have the advantage of three days rest as they haven't played since their dominant win over the Pacers. This should be a clone one, but I'm expecting the Trail Blazers to grit out a tough W at home in this one. So the Portland Trail Blazers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Although Portland has been solid in hitting the under, I do like the over in this one as we saw the last time these two teams played both teams' offenses showed they were much better than the defense. The Trail Blazers are playing at a pace of 99 but rank 11th in offensive efficiency while Denver is playing at a pace of 98.3. They have an offensive efficiency of 113.9 which ranks third. Although the game may not be at a high pace, they both can make their shots. Meanwhile, in Portland's last 10 games they are averaging 227 points per game while Denver's games are averaging 226 points per game in their last 10. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.